Hello everyone, F1 Simvids here. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Assetto Corsa F1 TV overlay mod that that was created by Ecos Um It's pretty easy, but let's get straight into it. Step one, you need to make sure you've got SimHub installed, um, and if you've already got it installed, make sure you've got the latest version, otherwise it's going to cause issues. Um, for those who don't have it installed already, um, it is free, but um, I believe that if you don't pay for it there's some limited functionality it's quite cheap anyway so check it out so once you've done that um, moving on to step two you need to purchase the mods so again depending on which one you want if you want the halo HUD you can install it here um, or if you want the TV overlay one you can get it here they're pretty cheap um, so check them out step three um, so let's assume you've installed and downloaded both the mods um, in step two um, so now I'll be showing you what to do in terms of um, copying the files and stuff like that. So if I go here, so <clears throat> these are the two files. So this is the Halo HUD and the TV overlay one. So we'll start with the TV overlay one. So it will come in a zip file. You just need to extract it. Once you've extracted it, click on here, um, click on here, and then you'll see all these fonts. Um, so all you need to do is select them all, right click, and click on install. Um, and as I've got them already I'm gonna just click on no for all of them but obviously for yourselves if you haven't got them just click on yes um, so that will be all good and the next thing is you need to copy um, the Gary Swello whatever it's called plugin to your sim hub folder so your sim hub folder should be located in your C drive um, so just make sure you get that open so it's over here um, that's where it is for myself it might be somewhere else for you but typically it should be here um, and then all you need to do is just go ahead um, and copy the plugin right click control C and paste that in I'm not going to paste it because I've already got it installed but you will um, and once you've pasted it in there's one thing you need to check so right click on it click on properties and you may see something that says unblock here make sure you do that um, I had some issues before because I didn't check that so make sure you unblock it um, it might be fine for you but just make sure you check that um, so that's good um, so you've done the plugin the next bit is to make sure you get the dash templates so again click on where you installed um, downloaded the leaderboard click on here click on here and you'll see these files essentially all you need to do is right click on dash templates and then paste that in um, obviously I've got it already so I'm not going to touch anything but that's what you would do um, so the lead leaderboards all done um, now if we just also just quickly do the halo head Um, as for everything else, you don't need to do anything else because you got you already have the dash templates from the TV overlay. Um, you've already got the shallow plugin, so you don't need to touch that. Now, going back to our PowerPoint, um, another key thing that I had an issue with is I my for some reason my AC folders isn't didn't put in these files. So um, what I'll do is I'd recommend you guys to install both. Um, the files in these two folders so I'll quickly show you that the link is um, this so all you need to do is right click on apps go to your set of course folder and click on paste and then it will say it might not say this but for me it does because I've already got it installed so make sure you replace the files or just copy them in Sartman TV style um, now again I would just you would need to again install all these fonts here once that's done uh, Gary you've already got the plugin with all of these just paste them in and I'll show you where to paste them in again so you'll go to your sim hub folder um, click on dash templates and paste them all in here as you can see I've got them here so you will just paste them in here now to import both the mods into sim hub um, again very easy to do so let's start off with the leaderboard all you would do is double click on this and if you want the live speed you double click on that so if you click on that 
Um, it will say import into sim hub library, select that, and then it will say import successful. As I've already got it, I'm not going to do it. Same thing for this, do the same thing. And then if we go to the Halo HUD, um, again, do the same thing. Um, up to you which one you choose. I chose the 1440p one, so again, do that. Now, you need to click on Sim Hub, and if you go on Dash Studios and Overlays, you'll see um, your stuff here. So the TV overlays here, the light speeds here, and then that Halo HUDs here as well. Uh, but first, we just want to click on Additional Plugins click on Gary shallow plugin and make sure you just copy what I've got here um, it works for me so it'll work for you so none of that needs to be touched or you might need to uncheck it um, and then theme again I haven't touched that and then misc make sure again you just follow this whatever's on this um, and then you don't need to worry about anything else so all you need to do is load up AC so I've got content manager so I'm just going to open that up um, bring it over here um, and then once that's loaded go back on SimHub and then click on games and just make sure set the courses here and click on game config and make sure everything's fine here it might say that it's not config so you just need to click on a button and it'll do it for you automatically yeah. um, again I don't know how you would do it on the real game um, so I'm only doing it from Content Manager and again Content Manager is free so you can download that so I've just clicked, selected my car so we're going to use the 2020 cars around Spa I've selected 19 opponents and then I've added all the cars in and then another thing you need to do is click on here Detailed Settings and this is where you name the drivers so um, obviously the surname is going to display on the overlay so you just need to make sure the surname is fine uh, but as you can see there's no racing point skin yet so I've just used a retro Williams uh, livery and I've just named it to the uh, racing point drivers so that's what I've done um, so again if, if you're if you want to have do something funny you can rename everything here by just clicking on here and whatever you rename it to it will just take the surname um, of the driver on the TV overlay so that's what I do here um, so that's all good next thing you need to do is um, so you've done we've done that um, the next thing you can do is load overlay and start repositioning things so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just go into the game um, and then show you how to do that okay so we go back to simmub and we just need to load our um, overlays and stuff now so um, I'll start with the halo one ignore that message you can resize it so I'll click on new layout um, and it's open now onto my other screen so I'm just gonna quickly resize this and um, we can resize it once we go into the game as well so I'll resize it here and then I'm gonna click on add overlay again and we're gonna get the TV one to show now so click on add um, again it'll show on my other screen so I've got that now that's all good so yeah but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly move it to my main screen just so I can show you guys um, when I load the game up okay so um, I've got it on my screen now so we're just gonna click on start race and then this is where we so I've got let me get rid of the sound and this is where we can adjust our halo HUD so one thing I would recommend is if you click on um, so go to your apps on the right you'll find something called um, uh, camera editor open that this is where you can start adjusting how I'm just gonna move my wheel um, the red ball's stuck behind me so this is where you can um, adjust your camera so I've already got a preset so all I need to do is just start dragging this making sure and again you know you can play around with it do it to your liking click back on sim hub to get this back up running um, so I'd click on stop edit now actually before I do that in fact I would recommend you to save a layout so call it whatever you want so AC 2020 version 2 because I've already got one set so I'm going to click save so that's all done click on stop edit hide when not in race uncheck that um, take the camera editor off here you go you can see everything's come up now because you know the guys have done one lap already 
So everything's um, as it should be, is showing my driver name and stuff like that. So that's all working. And bring back SimHub. Um, what you guys need to do is, um, since I saved AC22 version 2 as you guys saw, so what you guys need to do from now on is, as soon as you s launch the game, you're into the menus, click on load. Um, don't load it before because sometimes it doesn't work as soon as you've loaded the game click on load and once you click on load I'll show you guys everything just saves as the position you set it so everything is fine you don't even need to do anything so that's how easy it is um, and of course when you load the game your camera might not be right but um, you know oh yeah one thing I forgot to mention is when you do your camera settings just make sure you click on save and that's why when I clicked on F6-1, it auto-loaded um, my preset saved camera. So just make sure you do that. But yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching.